Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I had this idea, of, I think around 1978, 79. I'd just seen a Dirty Harry movie and I'd found it very funny. I couldn't believe people were taking it seriously. And I thought it would be interesting to create a character of a detective who's not so much bumbling, but just overreacts and goes a little bit too far. <laughs> We got vermin on the roof, but I got an idea. Who are you talking to? Nobody. <laughs> I think I got him. It was originally developed, I don't know how interesting this is, but it was originally developed uh, for HBO, who bought it, and, uh, you know, ABC read it and took it from them, and here we are on a network. I never in my wildest dreams thought this project would become a sitcom, but it was always a secret goal of mine to create a satirical anti-hero in a show like this, which I maybe harkens back to the 60s when they did Get Smart, which was my favorite TV show. Look, I'm not gonna partner with a woman. You will partner with Pia Zadora if the chief asks you to. Do you understand that? The only partner I need is my amigo right here. I told you to put that... <laughs> Sorry, Captain. That was reflex. Reflex. That man makes Rambo look like Pee Wee Herman. I first saw David in a play, Geniuses, and uh, I don't remember exactly the year that he did that, but you'll find that out. But I first saw him in that and followed his career because I always thought there was something amazingly special and different about this man because he's very good looking, yet he is wildly funny and can be loony. And, and it's a very, very difficult combination to find somebody like this. He can be a leading man, yet can be insane, zany, and crazy. Uh, I knew that he was going to be Sledgehammer, that he absolutely was the only person who could play this role and bring to it what he brings to it, which is a lightness, a twinkle in his eye. Yet he also brings to it a conviction where you believe he is real, that he really is this way. And I think David Rashi is the only actor on Earth or probably who will ever live that can make you believe he's talking to his gun. I like her. Who are you talking to? Oh, I'm just... See, it's a challenge for all of us because of the uh, tone of the show and uh, to try to make it, uh, you know, to, to keep the bite to it without, you know, making the wrong things funny. I mean, obviously, what we're, what we're not doing is talking about uh, glorifying violence, just the opposite. But you, then you run the risk sometimes of doing what you don't want to do. You know, so it's a, sort of a thin line between being so mean that it's funny without being so mean that it isn't funny. Hammer, what are you doing? I'm going to teach this little genetic mistake a lesson. We're in front of City Hall. You want to be taken in for police brutality? want to... All right. All right. All right, look, I'm running out of time. Uh, just finish yourself off. <laughs> it's, it's a little bit of a lot of different things. It's, uh, there is, uh, uh, it's funny and, uh, and it has a, makes a point and it's satirical, and it's, uh, there's parody elements of things that you've seen in other places, if not specific things, general things. Uh, I don't know, it's a creature really unto its own. <laughs> Duro, that was excessively violent and completely unnecessary. I loved it. It was poetry in motion. Thank you, I was top of my class in hand-to-hand -hand combat. I'd like to fight you sometime, Drew. You're on. I think we're poking fun at these current heroes or icons of the Rambo and Cobra, Dirty Harry, that people seem to take so seriously. It would be my hope that we're doing the same thing to this rebel one-man cop genre that Get Smart in the 60s did to the whole genre of spies, which is uh, poke fun at it, and it also makes you re-examine 
uh, the original, the source, the things that we're, we're making fun of. It would be my hope maybe that an audience could look back at Cobra or Rambo and not take it seriously and see that there's a little something silly going on here. I mean, my favorite line in Rambo is, the man blows up half the country and tells someone the greatest weapon I have is my mind. Listen, I have a great idea. Now, why don't I come over to your house and then you can cook me dinner because my all-time favorite movie's on TV. Oh, wait, don't tell me. Dirty Harry. Now, that one didn't work for me. I just, I found it too violent. <laughs> David Brashy is Sledgehammer.